Hi, this is CK at CK Education. Today, I want to expand on something that I heard uh, somebody say recently. Um, he didn't say this recently. I think this was like in 2019. I was watching a YouTube video and um, Mike Tyson, man, he's uh, the former heavyweight champion of the world. In my mind, uh, one of the most dangerous, most powerful, um, best boxers who ever lived. And in his prime, I don't think, I mean, nobody could beat him. He never beat, nobody beat their opponent so quickly and so ferociously as Mike Tyson did. And, um, you know, I followed him for a lot of years and, and I, I watch him now. And man, he's, he just, he's just such a different person, you know. And he went from this ferocious, violent person to really a, a, a much deeper thinker and, uh, um, you know, he's, he just, I don't know, he's just grown so much. And, uh, so I have a lot of respect for people like that who can change things around and he lost everything, but he picked himself back up and self-reflected and improved himself and just, uh, you know, just, just became a much better version of himself. So, um, I was watching one of his hot boxing. This is his, his podcast, his YouTube video podcast. I don't know what you call it. Video cast, whatever. Uh, and he says something in there that is so true that I've uh, lived by for so long. And I just thought he said it so well. And he said that if you're a friend of everybody, then you're an enemy to yourself. And um, that is so true. You know, everybody focuses on trying to please people. And um, you know, I've seen so many people like that in my life who they, they try to, they're so worried about what other people are going to say. They're so concerned about what other people are going to think about them that it prevents them from just being themselves. And uh, Mike Tyson hit on this truth, that if you're a friend of everybody, you're an enemy to yourself. And I was talking to this, um, to another friend of mine, uh, uh, several weeks ago, we were talking and every Sunday morning, I, um, around 8.30, 9 o'clock, uh, I meet uh, my best friend and we just sort of, sort of um, chat. He comes over and we just sit in our, in my small backyard uh, and uh, we just talk. We just talk about things, about life and how the week was and things like that. It's, it's very therapeutic, we love doing it. We're like two old guys just talking. We just drink coffee and we talk. But uh, you know, one of the things we were talking about um, fairly recently was this discrepancy, this gap between who we really are and who we want others to think we are. and. And, and the more distance there is in that, and the, and the bigger of a gap there is in who I really am and who I try to portray myself to be to other people, the more miserable we become. I think that the most secure and uh, the happiest people are those people who can just be themselves. The person that you see on the outside, this, this shell, is the same as a person, is very close to the person you really are. And so when people meet you, they're like, yeah, that's just the way that person is. That's just the way that... Um, and, and, you know, whoever you talk to, whoever knows that person, they all pretty much say the same things. Yeah, he's that way. Yeah, I found it to be like that, too. I mean, this person is pretty much the same person to whomever um, he or she is relating to. And so that, that, that gap, there's not much of a gap there um, between who that person really is and the person that he or she is trying to portray to be to other people. And I wonder... Um, if, we, if you've ever thought about this, if you've ever thought about um, is what kind of a gap there is between how other people perceive you and who you really are. And in fact, it's not even so important how other people perceive you. The perception that you're trying to portray, is there a, a portrayal that you're trying to put out there um, that's very different than the actual person you really are? You know, and to just give this sort of obvious, very oversimplistic example, someone is absolutely miserable on the inside. They're just miserable. They have a lot of doubts. They have a lot of concerns. They have a lot of, but on the outside, they're trying to just be this very happy, cheerful person all the time. And so you see this, and you see this in grade school. You know, when you look at school kids, and uh, and I saw this too myself. And I knew friends who were absolutely miserable because I knew them. I knew the real them. They were absolutely miserable, but they're all trying to be funny. They're always trying to play a joke and be the class clown because they don't want anyone else to see the real them, which is the miserable them. Uh, and they just want everyone else to think that they're happy and cheerful all the time. And you see this actually in people who, who are um, depressed or, or sometimes, you know, and, 
So when someone is too much like that on the outside, it either means they're really, really happy, cheerful people, or they could be hiding something. And I'm not saying, of course, that's the only kind of people that do that. I mean, there are other people who, who are not like that, who are miserable on the outside. Um, and, but there's this front that, 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 that people try to make. And, um, and largely that happens because we're so concerned about what other people are gonna think about us or what they're gonna say about us. And I, so that's why I just loved it when Mike Tyson said that. And he just said, if you're a friend of everybody, you're an enemy to yourself. What's the flip of that? If you're a friend of yourself, you might be the enemy of everybody, okay? Or you might have a lot of enemies. You might think you have a lot of enemies. In fact, people may not like you. Uh, not a lot of people may like you. In fact, you may not have a lot of friends, but you're just comfortable in your own skin. You're just comfortable with who you are. And I learned in life, man, that's way more important than trying to please people. I'm not trying to please people. I'm not trying to make other people happy. I'm not trying to piss people off. I'm not trying to make other people upset on purpose either. But it's just, my goal in life is not to please other people. My goal in life is to live my life. And if living that life my way, the way that I think is right, um, offends people or they don't like it or whatever the, you know, wh whatever the thing is, then so be it. Sometimes that's just the way life is. You can't do anything about it, but you still got to go on and still be happy. So if you have this gap between who you really are and this perception of who you think, uh, whom you want other people to think of you, I think that makes you pretty miserable. And um, so I would encourage you to don't care about what other people are going to say. Don't care about what other people are going to think about you. Let them do it. Let them say it. Let them think it. It doesn't matter. You just try to be true to yourself and you just try to do the right thing. Try to pursue truth. Seek truth. Not seek approval. Seek truth and live the life that you got to live. And if you do that, I think you'll live a much happier life. And that's been my experience. And so that's what I try to do every day. Uh, thanks for listening. And I'll see you in my next video.